This is a blank human design chart. The blank chart provides the best illustration of the foundation of all human design charts. And the foundation is openness. All the gates are naturally considered to be open and receptive until a planet activates them and defines them. And we know that when we have a planet activating a gate on either side of a channel or circuit that creates what's known as definition. So in my example, for me personally, I have gate 34 defined to gate 57. So that creates a generator definition in the old school terminology. So what that means is I, just like everyone, have a sacral center which generates and projects out the light of consciousness. And this light of consciousness goes through the frames of time, the slides of time, and is projected onto the, the screen. And the screen, in my interpretation, is this physical reality. And I am aware of this physical reality in three separate waves. I am aware of how I relate it to myself. I am aware of how I relate it to others. And I am aware of how I can relate that to the other frames and slides of life. Now it gets a little complicated because the solar plexus is still evolving. And so how I interpret, how I relate to others is still changing. And since my solar plexus is also open, I'm catching all sorts of different things. So how I relate to others is also very inconsistent. It heavily depends on who I'm around. Although how I relate to myself is very, very consistent with my definition from the 3457 in addition to the 10 it is very much about me being strategic and consistent and in a way almost closed to other people and how, in terms of how I relate to myself. I do not need other people in order to consistently relate to myself. Although, being that I do this, I am a pitcher in terms of relating to oneself. I support people who are receptive and are unable to consistently relate themselves to the moment. This is the moment. How do I relate to myself? How do I relate to others? How can I reflect on them both and communicate it out?